Well, hello everybody. Been a bit of a bit of a break, but I don't think anyone noticed. But uh, there's a new pizzeria up in the village up the road, and they cannot, for love nor money, find any ingredients. So Samuel has jumped to the rescue, of course, with all of my other stuff. That despite the heat and the rain and the shit of everything. Hey, dog, suffer, 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 um, I have, uh, with my friend, gone and got new seeds. So we've got okra, ladies' fingers, gombo as they call them here. Different types of shikari, because these grow in the heat. There's your different types of epinar. Um, chard. Some slightly weaker salads, but they'll go in the polytunnels. Subulet, so that's your chives. A bit of beetroot will be for me because it takes forever to grow. Winter salad uh, pizza toppings as well with the choucal frisé, with the um, kale. I've got some coriander, which I'll, once I've sown I'll have forever. Two different types of basil. I've already got three different types of parsley growing in, um, in the polytunnel, but I'll get some more. I've got some rocket, but I'll get some more. And then I've got my brassica section. Uh, I have actually organised them into their, um... oh of course, that's where I've messed up. Those cabbages should have been next to these cabbages. So anyway, they should have been there. But anyway, who gives a shit? Indian mustard, which is beautiful. Then I've got cress, water cress, because I have uh, plenty of water up on at the house actually. Uh, red giant... Uh, 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 Indian mustard again and then your radishes and then your black radish as well so these are all sort of things that could be good for pizza toppings to go with all the tomatoes and broccolis and courgettes and e everything I've already got which I've managed to keep alive so I'll just show you that's still fucked um, but uh, despite everything that's going on and the heat I mean it's okay today but well, it wasn't okay earlier, this is why I'm here. But this is the first lot of um, the courgettes. Uh, uh, well, there are courgettes in there, but mostly cucumber and cornichon. So, in fact, that's probably probably a little bit too big, actually. But that's a pickling cucumber. So, a gherkin. So, anyway, it'll be um, dashed into a salad t tomorrow, because I've already eaten steak and chips today. Um, I might as well do a little update for myself for future reference. I might one day look back on all this. Uh, it, 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 it looks lush, which, you know, Spain isn't, and anything sort of north of Toulouse isn't either. But I've got tons of butternut this year. I've got time, I'll go into the other garden. I've re sown um, the, the Scottish beans, uh, Scottish peas. <clears throat> and they're doing fine. Uh, my, I, I took a risk on all of the strawberries. I cut all the leaves off, all the flowers off, all the stolons. See, I've got plenty of rocket everywhere. Um, composted separately, obviously. So look, you can see this is strawberry leaf because it had a mosaic on it. Doesn't survive winter. It's a, a very f fickle. Um, uh, fungus. Uh, so yeah, got got the beds covered. Uh, got the last of the strawberries in over there. They're all doing fine. Those are shallots, which so they're on trial. Uh, these beans you can see are just a mess. So they're going straight to the rabbits. So I did the same with these. Look, they're all looking good. There's... <clears throat> Actually, these were cut pretty much last. No, up, the, up there were cut last. But you know, no mosaic. Plenty of fresh, new, lovely leaf, which I'll leave on for winter. Bit of flower coming. <clears throat> I've prepared this seed bed. If you've watched a couple of videos ago, I covered that because it was just a mess and I was all grumpy. But I've raked it over, so that'll get that most as much of that sown as I can today. Probably the mustards, because they'll work. And then a line of uh, radish on the front as a catch crop or whatever. 
But you see the the risk was was good. I got strawberries again, and every single one of them is doing really, really, really well. Um, so yeah, okay, I didn't do very well in spring. It wasn't my fault. No, it very rarely is my fault. Well, it's never my fault with the weather. But I don't tend to make too many bad judgment calls. Just uh, kind of get a little bit kicked to the back of the net with uh, with the weather and pandemics and the French. So in there is a huge snake. Oh my god! Fucking python. They're not. This particular one isn't isn't poisonous. He's probably the reason why I don't have the retopier problem that I had years ago. The compignol. Um, because there's plenty of them, and I think this plastic that I put at the back of these. Uh, um, these beds there to sort of stem the ever arch and ever ever end uh, the ever the, the the advance of the weeds coming down constantly. Anyway, the onions are doing piss all, um, but they have got some luzerne there, so that's uh, cerisa, sorry, no luzerne. So yeah, these got these got chopped as well. Bye, you so you know these uh, they, they look fresh like spring fresh I mean I I, I, I just I, the flowers look on the fraction smaller than what I would imagine but they're doing okay down here is a absolute waste of time here's my um Romanescos I'm not sure if can I get down there without messing everything up yes yes I can so these have all gone to seed no, that's actually the broccoli Oh, fantastic. I'd rather lose the broccoli. I can cut the heads off. Because I mean. uh, those are then, therefore, the Romanesco. And if, if I don't know if you can see, but I've underplanted with onions. And they're covered in fucking caterpillars now, of course. So I've got to go through those. That's another job for another day. Um, but then birds eat them as well, so it's a balance. But yeah, I'm wondering if it was the onions that made them do all right. And these look like a load of shite. Uh, raspberries are doing great. Really happy, really happy with the raspberries. Let's see if we can get down there and just have a look. What kind of it up? Uh, what kind of kind of situation we're at with the um, with the old butterflies, the old shuni. Yeah. Technique. Just do that. They won't come back to that plant. Most likely, I'm not doing this today. It's, we look. It looks like we might even get a bit of rain, so I'm going to um, I'm going to get them seeds in. Yeah, some of these are actually struggling. Yeah, that one's struggling. So uh, I've got some savon noir, which is um, black soap, but not really worth putting down if it's going to rain. In there are the aubergines, but they haven't enjoyed the rain at all. So that'll want a good water in and a bit of rabbit muck. Oh, I've got to do the rabbits as well. It's just, it's never ending. I've got a mould in my house because of the, hot, the warm air and the humid air. But look, I've got the old artichaut. So, Two years of work and I've just got no idea what to do with them. They're beautiful, but I, they're one of those plants I've just done. I've done nothing to. I haven't even staked them. Nothing. And uh, same with the Jerusalem artichokes. So I'm going to propagate them. I'm not even going to sell them this year. I'm going to fill this whole space with Topi Nombog, and then I'm going to do the similar thing with the um, artichoke all the way down here. So although it takes years, okay, it takes years. Everything takes years. Um, I will have some something, no matter what heat <laughs> situation we get into next year or following years. Um, I will have uh, something of value to sell or to eat. Uh, I'll just quickly just spin down the other other parts of the garden quickly, quickly, quickly. I don't know how long this is. Jeez, this is already 10 minutes, so I'll be as quick as I can. So, courgette's doing well. 
tomatoes did suffer seriously from the um, powdery mildew, uh, but I'm trying a new technique this year now. I've, I don't know if I've invented it or it's just a response or whatever. Some of them are doing really well, but where was the one I was looking at? It was a little bit further along, perhaps. Yeah, look, what's happening is they they got the they got the blue sprayed on them, as you can see, um, and that sort of stemmed stemmed it a bit. But what I'll do is I'll just chop that off and let that grow in its place, which is from the same stem. We call that a gourmet in French. Um, and then, you know, if we're going to have a... We're probably going to have an Indian summer, aren't we, for sure. You know, just way later than it ought to be. Uh, and then... Um, so I'm not going to lose out. I still need to fix this structure. This is this is what a woofer does. The one behind, fine, I did that. But anyway. So here we've got uh, shikaris come up fine. So despite the heat, they come up fine. This is your chards, the previous sow in the chards, rainbow chard, a bledter. Cut the bled, and then you've got the white chard there, which uh, is just a fundamentally incredible salad. You eat this, well, you will know what to do with it. Got my um, nave, so that would be um, turnip, uh, and then uh, turn a sol, turn a sol, so he turns towards the sun, it's the sunflower. Uh, they again are going to be kept for seeds to pop propagate and to fill up some of this space that I'm just not able to get to. I've got carrots all over, which I don't even remember sowing. Uh, I've got to get through there, that's the last of the broads, they didn't do very well. And then here I've got a different type of nave, or they're either they're a week older. I've got the remnants of the buckwheats. <clears throat> and then courgettes underneath there. All of this um, Acacia uh, pseudo rubinia, mock Acacia. Uh, the leaves will be going to the rabbits and then they, they chew the stems. It's got an antiseptic and it's good for their teeth. This will get weeded and this is basically just barley. Self-set barley. So I'll go through and get them beans out when they're ripe. And anything else I don't want to make into fodder. But I'm really thinking about making my own booze basically because I'm already growing barley I can very quickly get some wild hops and I've got uh, four bedrooms not doing anything so we'll see but I'm also meant to be quitting smoking before I go to hospital for uh, something quite serious to do with my lungs but I won't say anything more on YouTube <coughs> um, so yeah this is alright the peppers are Peppers are sprouting back. Look, well, these are these are the um, gindia. This is a gindia. They're kind of like jalapeno, but they're uh, they're the ones you get in a kebab. You know, they pickle them and you have them in a kebab, and they're they're not particularly spicy. And uh, I'm addicted, so if no one else wants them, they, they should be quite welcome in my larder. So I'll just show you the second garden. I have actually started weeding the bastards. Um, as I say, well, today's been a long day already, so I don't know how much further I'll get on this. But I'm starting to find little, little bits of treats that have survived under the cover of it all. So we've got these beautiful butternuts. Put you on, in actual fact, these are called. These are uh, a pumpkin that you can eat the skins of. And then we've got the beetroots. These are uh, Detroit. They've survived well. So then I've just covered this bit of soil with a little bit of junk for now. Um, got what few brawl beans of there, for, so there'll be seeds. And then I've actually found that harvesting the mustard is surprisingly easy. We're not quite, you know, they're, they're just opening now, so I might have another go at, you know, I might hang them up and put a bag underneath them and see if I can't have a go at making my own mustard. We'll see. And then the the leeks, the, the poirot, have weirdly got all of this. I'm assuming it's a sorghum growing all the way through it. But they, they, they haven't been treated very well. There was that consude, the comfrey, all the way over it. And then they go on the way all down there. 
So you can see the difference. I mean, that's that's two afternoon sessions just to get that bit done, and that's half of one terrace. And I have another another whole load up there and to do down there. So this will get done by uh, end of next week. And I've got potatoes in there. So I'm looking forward to um, at least trying to find them. <clears throat> so I might grumble, but I don't, I can't quit. Everyone's quitting. No one can find nothing. Shops are empty. I mean, 